it's Melissa in this, the third video in the 2024 Silhouette Sync Gate headache that we are all in the middle of how to download your Silhouette uh, design store purchases. So I'm going to go start to finish on how to download them and how to open them in Silhouette Studio so you don't have to worry. Okay, so here we are on the Silhouette Design Store. Now, this is, um, obviously we're gonna talk about how to download your files that you've purchased. So, first thing that you're gonna notice um, if you're coming here because you're confused about what's going on with this ongoing, what I'm calling sync gate, um, this just makes me laugh. Like, this is a migration issue that they're having a, me a statement to the media. Okay, sorry, um, no media is covering this, um, so I, I, I don't know. Honestly, like, blogs about Silhouette, yes. Uh, social media, you know, troubleshooting sites, whatever, yes, we're all covering it, but I, I don't know that media is, it's kind of like even like a cold word. Regardless, there's information here if you're interested in seeing that. Now, that's not why we're actually here. That's not actually why we're here. Whoops, let me go back. All right, why we are here is to get into our account. So you wanna go to the Silhouette Design Store website and click on your um, the My Account area so that you can sign in. Now, couple of things. If you are not able to sign in, um, you can do try two things. One is that you can clear your browser history or the, the cache, okay? So by doing that, you're just gonna go, and I'm on a Mac, on Chrome, so it might look a little bit differently, but if you go to history and then show full history, this is where you have the option to clear your browsing history and all of that. Now, the other option that you have is to go to um, file and then new incognito window, and in some browsers, they call it private window. So it's basically your, it's a private window that opens up that doesn't have any cookies. It doesn't know where you've been before. You can see it's incognito. So you can try that as well. Okay. Um, here we are, I'm going to sign into my personal um, Silhouette uh, Design Store uh, account and I'm gonna click sign in. Now, if, again, if you sign in and it's telling you that your password is wrong, you can try again. Or like I said, if it's telling you that you can't sign in, then try those other two options that I told you with the new new tab um, and or the browser, or clearing the history or going to an incognito window. Okay. So if you go to orders, that is not going to be where you can really download your orders. This is actually, um, it has the orders listed here, but it, it doesn't make it very easy to download. What you actually wanna do is go down here to downloads. Now, I'm not a person that buys a whole lot of stuff from the Silhouette Design Store, uh, partly because I own So Fancy and that's where I get my designs. Um, however, this is where you can go if you've come to the Silhouette Design Store to get your files. So if you want to d download them, however, you need to do it one by one. And the reason being, for right now at least, because of, again, SyncGate, it's not, these files are not syncing to your Silhouette library. So to download, you will click it, click the file, and yes, you have to download individually and it's very slow do you see this um, so once the file is downloaded onto your computer it's finally downloaded it's going to download as a zip file so I'm going to show you that here it is I'm going to unzip it and then it oops, oops, oops that's not what I wanted to do I'm going to unzip it go back over here sorry and inside the folder is your file so I ordered the SVG with this one. So it's in this series of folders. So here is the studio file and here is the SVG. Now to open these in Silhouette Studio, I will just open Silhouette Studio and go to design. Let me open a new tab. And then I'm literally, I have two options. I can just drag and drop. There you go. Or, oh, I'm just, let me delete that. Or I can go to file open or file merge. Um, or use the little tab here, open, and again, navigate on my computer to my file, okay? So studio version, SVG version, you can, either one you know, will work for you. Obviously the SVG version, you need to have um, designer edition or higher to open. But that is how, at this point, you are going to download your uh, files from the library. Because what I'm gonna show you, if I go in here, 
this file, be kind, is not in my library, all right? Um, and so this is the only way that you are able to get your silhouette designs that you purchased or that you got for free or whatever um, onto your computer. Now, while we're here, I do just wanna quickly show you one other thing, and that is if you're looking for your license keys uh, because you got some, somehow you lost your your upgrade, you can go again, silhouette design store to your account, and if you go under license keys, those will all be listed there as well, all right? So you can see I have a bunch, I'm gonna get off of the screen since I don't need anybody using my license keys. Um, if you have, if you've lost your, if you've lost your upgrade, you just get those license keys and re-enter it into up here on Silhouette Studio, help, and then you go into apply upgrade edition and you have to put your password in and then you'll be able to put that 16 digit code in again to upgrade and you should see your upgrade here at the very top of Silhouette Studio. That's the quickest way to see it. Or you could also go to about Silhouette Studio and you would see it here as well. Okay, all right guys, make sure you're watching all of the videos in this sync gate series. In the next video, the fourth and final one, I will have another op, um, alternative for you that basically avoids the Silhouette Design Store altogether um, and a lot of different benefits for why you might wanna do that.